Oh, the Nike Vaporflies are on a whole different level. Canadian marathoner Reed Coolsat has competed in two Olympics. He knew that if he wanted to compete in Tokyo this summer, he had to switch to the Nike Vaporfly. The Vaporflies were the answer because, you know, they're often worth, um, you know, two minutes in a marathon. And if I can get two minutes, then uh, I can be competitive. Is it the shoes? No. The industry is known for its hype and hyperbole, making promises about shoes that will change your life. But these are different. I can't think of anything else in my lifetime that's had a bigger impact on performances in running. Uh, over the last two years, basically every road running record that I can think of has been broken. The numbers don't lie. The fastest men's and women's marathon finishes ever were run in the vapor flies. In fact, in the last six major world marathons, nearly all of the podium finishers wore the shoes. So what makes this shoe different is that the soul of the vapor fly is a curved uh, carbon plate surrounded by thick so ultralight foam. The plate keeps your foot from bending, bending and losing ultralight. energy and you've got this massive layer of foam that is compressing and giving you energy back with every step. Other companies have been unable to keep pace, and now World Athletics, which governs international running, may limit or ban the shoe, a piece of equipment some are calling a form of technological doping. And I'm really struggling with just what is the, the logical uh, step here? This triathlon magazine editor says innovation is important, but wonders if these shoes go too far. People have always talked about the purity of running. Anyone can get into it. All you need is a pair of shoes. Now we're starting to say maybe that's not possible. For Reed Coolsat, with an Olympic berth on the line, it's an easy choice. I hope the, uh, the vapor fly gives me that edge. The sports governing body will decide within days if that edge is a fair one. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.